Hello you! It's Marie in the Pot Machine. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own ultimate potting mix. The great news is that this uses only three cheap, easy to find ingredients and you can use it on any type of plants. I promise you, if you start using this tip at home, you'll never go back. First things first though, why even create your own potting mix? Two reasons. Number one, having good soil around is always a good idea, especially if you're like me and you just cannot resist the sight of a cheap plant, you're gonna buy it. Which means you're going to have to repot plants. A lot. Like, all the time. So, if you have a mix at the ready, you're just set. Second reason why you wanna make your own potting mix at home. The number one mistake that all plant newbies make is water their plants way too much. Overwatering is actually the number one cause of death of houseplants. But really, you need to forget about your plants for weeks before they die from underwatering. So I wanted to find a solution to this. So I got into plant machine mode, did some research, and what I found really brought my plant game up to a whole new level. Using this potting mix just makes your life easier if you own a lot of different plants with different watering needs because then you know that the soil will keep the water evenly across all your plants. Makes life easier. Anyway, I've got all the stuff that I need so I'll just show you what I need. Hey again! Before I show you how to make the soil, I wanted to give you a quick update on the propagation that I featured in my last video. Link in the description if you haven't checked that out yet. But look! It's doing so well! Oops! Look at these roots! So I'm gonna have to uh, probably... Well, probably repot it like today. These are the components you'll need to buy organic compost, organic topsoil, and perlite. Always buy organic, so then you can be sure it's the good stuff. If you buy the very inexpensive stuff that just says topsoil or compost on the label, you could be buying old topsoil that comes from land that's been farmed to death and so completely depleted of nutrients. It could even be full of nasty chemical pesticides or herbicides and other leftovers from life down on the farm. Something just labeled compost could be made uh, just with biosolids. So this is cow manure, so poop, really. But that manure has been recovered from a sewage treatment process. So yes, it's made from organic matter, but it's way too concentrated to be used as compost. Not good. So play it safe and buy quality organic ingredients. The last crucial ingredient you'll need is perlite. This is not often used uh, properly, so many people miss out on what it can actually offer. Unlike compost and soil, which are organic compounds, so they hold lots of living things in it, like good bacteria and fungi, perlite is inorganic. Perlite are pieces of volcanic, volcanic rock <laughs> that have been heated at such high temperatures that they've popped kind of like popcorn. Like popcorn, perlite is also easily holds onto water if made wet. So when you mix perlite with compost and topsoil, it allows your potting mix to hold the water more evenly in the mix and for longer as well. But because the perlite creates more space for air to pass through in the mix, the roots of your plants are never too wet. This is how not to open a bag of soil, but anyway. You'll want to mix equal parts compost, perlite and topsoil together in a bucket and you can make as much as you want uh, ahead of time. So here you go, this below average potting mix has been transformed into something amazing that will be great for your plants. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or any feedback, please comment below. See you very, very soon. First things first though, why even having potting soil? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs>
Why are you so many words when few words do tricks? Shit, I'm it. Okay. Oh.